uh, so we'll see me showing you guys how it gets um, an R2003 for free here. Um, yeah, so uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, I'll be able to answer them kind of in real time. Uh, if anyone watches this in real time, uh, if not, um, just put them in the comments or I'll answer them eventually there. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do here uh, is uh, disable your DP. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, open up your um, command prompt. I know there's other ways you are able to do it. This is just the way I personally have always done it. Uh, so if you're going to start, you just do CMD and just run it as an administrator. come with this and then you just copy and paste this in and I'll actually probably put this uh, in the description as well here Let's see this going uh, that way. there uh, you will have to restart your computer uh, to go and do this uh, so Make sure you do, um, you know, restart your computer to make sure it goes into effect. Uh, this just pretty much, I believe, makes it so the game can work. A lot more games don't work on newer systems uh, with the DP on. Um, I believe XP still is fine, but anything like Vista, Windows 7, I believe all those, the newer operating systems do need this to be disabled. So once you've got that done, uh, what you'll need to do next is uh, you'll have to download a couple of things here. Um, so I'm just going to go through. Uh, you're going to need to get the um, I know 2003 game, which is this. Um, so get that and just go on download. And these none of this stuff had viruses or anything I've scanned them that's what I've been using for years and years and years uh, feel free though to have whatever uh, antivirus uh, software you have and run it through it just to make sure uh, but like I said there I've never got any viruses from it I've used it for years and years and years and years I know other people have used it for years and years and years and years so like I said, I'm pretty sure that none of this has any viruses or anything on it. It's been scanned by multiple different virus, you know, tools and everything. Uh, so that's the game. Uh, next, you'll want to download uh, the patch, uh, which does a bunch of updates and everything. It adds a bunch of different physics um, to the game. So this is where you get like the. Uh, the Grand National physics, the truck physics, as well as the uh, Trans Am physics. And it also does a lot of other upgrades and updates and everything. And then this is the no CD patch, uh, which allows you to run the game without the CD. So you just go and download all of these. Like I said, I have yet to download it with uh, this computer yet, so I'm kind of running this for the first time as well. I'll make sure everything goes through here. So we'll unzip this. setup. I'm really hoping that this doesn't kill you guys' ears. I put down the volume uh, just to make sure that it's not quite as loud. Um, 
I changed mine up a little bit here uh, just because I don't like to run too much stuff in my C drive. Uh, so I just put in the Next, you will have to get the uh, CD key here. I'm just getting the CD key here. I forgot exactly how it was. I believe it's RAB2 uh, four times and then 8869, I believe. I just want to double check though that that is the correct CD key here. to the description as well. So next it'll just install the game. registration or anything uh, mainly because Macarius doesn't exist anymore so uh, we won't do that um, we're not going to launch it right now or anything because uh, we still need to install the uh, the patch so it's very important that you kind of do it in this order um, you know, first you want to install the game Next, you'll want to run the patch. So it's the version 1.2.0.1 patch. Like leave this. Uh, here's the README if you want to see all the changes that have that they fixed here. Um, you can go and read through all of them. Go through all the changes. Um, like I said, um, lots of really good changes that they put through there. If you wanted to get the README again, here it is in like a in a document, uh, notepad document. And then after that, um, you're gonna want to open up the um, no CD patch here. And essentially, what this will do is it will make it so that. Um, you're able to get um, play the game without actually having to have the CD and then to apply that um, all you need to do was just uh, go in there grab the patched one uh, I like to rename mine just so I have the original and then paste it in there and then that's essentially all you need to do um, from here on out. You should be able to launch the game and everything. It should be fine. Um, I don't have my wheel set up yet. It's still somewhere in a box somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to try to find that later today and hook that up if I can. But I'll get into the game, um, try it out and everything. No idea how well this is going to turn out. Just going 
let this play for a little bit. Okay, cool. That's running fairly well. Uh, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit more because I don't know if it's too loud or not. It's better safe than sorry. Actually, I wonder if this is actually hooked up. Okay, cool. Well, I'll use an Xbox 360 controller for now then. Um, so this is calibration. Uh, it'll automatically ask you to calibrate when you first get in. And from here, you should be able just to get in. Keep it under fifty five. Keep it under thirty five hundred in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. There you go, you've got the Nerf thousand three. Um Okay, merge when you can. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do here. Oh my goodness, it's stupid laggy on the stream. <laughs> I've definitely gotta get my uh, stream settings fixed a little bit better here. And I cannot drive with a 360 controller. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm getting like over 100 frames per second, but I think it's just my settings are not set up correctly for streaming right now. Let's actually check out one thing here. Will this crash on me? It may crash. Anyways, I gotta fill around a little bit more with it. Uh, let's see why I'm getting so many drop frames and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how to get 100,003 for free. Uh, if we need to, I can always uh, do up some more um, videos on like how to install mods and whatnot. If that's something that people uh, need access to, I can definitely help them out with that kind of stuff as well. Uh, but I think that's pretty much everything there. Um, let's take a look at chat. There's no chat questions or anything, so if no one has any questions or anything, um, you can definitely go and uh, just leave any kind of comments, questions, or anything in the comments below, and I'll get around to answering all those whenever you have them there. Um, like I said, if you want, I can do a tutorial on how to add tracks and cars as well, but it's a lot uh, more simple to do that. Uh, but like I said, I, I can definitely do a video to that. Uh, the next video I'm going to be trying to get out on this channel, if I can, uh, will be a sandbox tutorial. Uh, so how to use sandbox and stuff, how to modify tracks and whatnot. Uh, so that's the next one that I'm going to be working on. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I apologize a lot of the streaming stuff is not quite set up right. Uh, still got a lot of work to do on getting that fixed. I'm just going to take a look here. Yeah. If no one has any questions then I'm just going to end the stream here. Thank you everyone for watching and see you next time.